get to clean out your horse's stall. Yeah. He's the cleanest. Aww. What? They're all our horses are together and poor Storm's left out. It's okay, Storm. We love you. The news get out of school, basically. Troublemaker. Aw, Willow just said I'll be. Willow made the first move. Everybody thinks Willow's so feisty, but really she's such a love. Huh. All right, so we fed them, and then now, jeez, Storm. <laughs> no, it's Willow oh starting it. Oh my God. Willow's his butt. Go close that door. Keep that horse out. Storm. Daddy, it's Willow. Okay? Somebody's gonna get hurt. They don't have enough room to See, run. Willow. Willow's going. She's starting it. See? Willow stays away. No, she starts it. It's gonna be great for her ulcer. She starts it. What are you talking about? Watch. Now Willow goes over there. Yeah, so Willow starts it, runs away. Base oh, Stella. Basically, it's Storm wants Stella. See, look at Willow. All right, maybe we He's should put, put like Storm high. back in his stall for a while. Storm needs to burn off energy. But well, go, okay, it's not raining out now. Go put Storm and Finn in the back of the field. Yeah, I gotta go. Is it raining? Oh, well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You can't go out there in the middle of a galloping herd. Get a helmet on your head. Oh! What? Stella. Stella. I don't know who to root for. Storm. Stop it. Get a halter right now. We're gonna have to wait for them. Let let Stella in. She wants she's like really not loving this. Come here, Stella. Well, she can't go in because everything's blocking everything. Yeah. So let me out. I want the new ground for him right now before something happens. Put them in the backfield. I'm sorry, Stella. And I know that they will figure this I'm out, but this is not safe. Stella and Willow, because then, um, I mean, Storm, Stella's all the way against the wall, like banging her belly into the wall, and Storm bit her up by her ear. So I think Storm's feeling frisky. There are a few signs that he's feeling frisky because of the girl thing, and he Here, tried to tell Finn to get away from his girl. You're not going, Stella, so back it up, sister. Rain or no rain, you guys are evicted. Let's see if that cools you down a bit. See? Oh my God. Ah. That was with Storm Galvin. I'm so and sorry. Storm. No wonder you're stressed out. Don't worry, we won't do that. No. We, bad boys. Let that be a lesson to you, Sophie. Stay away from boys, they bite. That was going. Stella's like, I'm going out there too. I don't know what you're thinking. Well, I'm, 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 I'm gonna die. <gasps> yeah. Oh my God. Willow's trying to jump the fence. about 25 minutes later Sophie went up and got herself a snack um, obviously you never put yourself between horses that are not getting along or between horses and grass um, and Sam did and you guys probably already saw that video where Sam got plowed over by our, our perfect Stella oh you found some grass did you I don't want you eating grass Willow and I'm hooking this one up to the wire Oh God, Storm, stop, dude.
right, so basically we got some... Oh! That's why they get the halters. Don't need the halters. Says the man who stands between a horse and, and a fence in the grass. It's really cold out today. Oh! This is not good. I can't. I can't watch this. Gabby, watch out. They need helmets. Poor Finn. If this, yeah, if this is warm enough. Can I mean, you hold him? that's why I said. Get the halter, says the wife. We don't need halter, says the husband. I don't think he understands anything, Gabby, because... understands that it's a blanket. He understands there's a bunch of girls around. He's in a new place. He doesn't know what to do. That one and we we'll all understand that it's time to go. All right, one pony wrestled. Sam, can you fix it? All right, there you go, dude. Thanks for being so great. Coming to a new place and just acting like calm and cool. So we don't know if this blanket's gonna fit Finn. Probably not. Or hopefully it does. We need to go buy Finn a blanket. Yeah, it might fit. Probably the first time the guy's ever had a blanket on. Same time. Oh, it's not too bad. Oh. Oh God, he's gonna be a parachute and fly away. <laughs> To go. Oh. Ooh, handsome. So I just figured out how come our horses never go outside. Like I'm always saying like how when the weather's bad they always stay in. Yeah, it's because there's nothing to go outside to look at. There's nothing exciting happening out there. You add like a gelding who acts like a stallion and they don't want to come in. Girls are inside eating hay in the arena like nothing happened. Poor Finn is outside with a blanket on. It's a little big but it'll do. It's Second freezing. Time ever. It's freezing outside. So. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, Fiona says it's a little big. So, how do you feel after standing between the horses? I'm the champion. <laughs> I've, I've never seen Sam throw it around as much as I have in the last like two weeks. But anyway, never get between horses ever when they're not getting along or when they're, yeah, first rule of horsemanship. But sometimes things just happen and you can't plan for them and you can't plan for your husband to be smarter. No. <laughs> so many things happening all at once. Okay. Uh, thing number one. Sophie is working on her first brand deal all on her own. I really want this whole horse thing. Horse Rescue Rings reached out to Sophie on her Instagram and said, Hey, you're a horse lover like us. We want to work with you. Do you want to work with us? And what did you say? Yes. <laughs> Good job with your deal. And shout out to Horse rings rescue horse rescue rings horse rescue rings for contacting a nine-year-old and offering to work with them i think that's incredible and thing number two that's happening is that gabby is mastering what are you mastering math that i've done two years ago basically uh, gabby's been working on division uh long division for two years now like grade four grade five Grade four, grade five, and today this is the third year. And she always does it. I always have to lead her. I always have to show her. And she always gets it, but she never like really like takes off Mom with it. To show me like and times. yeah, like I always have to show her a gazillion times. She never like gets it, gets it. And this year, grade six, Gabby finally got long division. Like she, 
all the dots connected up there and she's finally getting it and that's what I love about homeschool is that when I was in school and I know it happens for a lot of you guys some things you get missed like some things you don't get you don't pick up and even though you do them year after year after year you don't get them but in homeschool you have so much time that you just no, keep and going then after like the third year the teacher's like okay well we're not gonna do this anymore yeah so we're not gonna ever learn this again so yeah I hope you all learned it yeah but in homeschool it's not like that you just work at it and work at it and then eventually you just get it but anyway we are going down to rescue our horses you guys this is a gong show this is i need my gong show shirt it's a gong show put the chicken away sophie put the chicken away come here chicken chick all right this is chicken rescue grab the bed this is how you catch a chicken you gang up on them Yay. oh look the chicken's gonna ride a horse Oh, that's not like how you ride a horse, but okay. <laughs> Sometimes that little chicken rides Toby. <laughs> Toby gets too close, she jumps on his back, and he runs, and the chicken holds on. All right, so essentially, the problem is this. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. Ah. Okay, just wait. Dry her a little bit more. Dry her a little bit more. Stella's like, I smell a boy out there. So basically, we had to separate our horses. The boys were down in the back, the girls were in the front. The girls stayed outside because they wanted to look at the boy. So they got soaking wet. Usually they stay inside because they're smarter than that. Hormones, I guess, girls don't know better. And, ah. So then we had to come down and bring Willow in because she was shaking. She was cold and we're like, oh my God. So we had to bring her in. Then we brought, and I didn't, was so nervous about the boys eating too much grass back there. So then I was panicking about that. So we had brought the boys to this paddock and the girls inside, but now the boys are standing outside freezing cold, soaking wet, just standing there. And I'm like, let's go rescue our horses. So, listen, you get one more chance, Storm. Be nice or you're banished. Storm, Gabby. Or you're banished from this farm. All right, watch out. <laughs> listen, dudes. No more, oh poor Finn. Look at him. I feel the most bad for him. Like he's all. The Arabian. Jeez, come on. This is not a. Uh, Finn, why did you run? This is not a dating show. Oh my God, look at her. She's like, love me. Is she in heat? No, she squealed at him. Literally. So, I know we have to. Get away from me. I know we have to. Oh God, please don't. Oh. <sighs> Finn, you fight for Sally Willow. I know we have to let them figure it out. Look at, she's in heat. Look and see if she's in heat, because she's in love with him. Finn, I bet you've learned to behave. His neck is not that wet. He's not wet. Good boy. Feel his neck, it feels like a rock. Feel. Wow. When he bends it, it's like, Hard. He has so much muscle in his neck. Don't do Crazy. fight. No, I'm no like, fighting. I don't want to go out there. It's too wet. No, it's cold. Yeah. Willow's actually out there calling to Storm. Come, come, handsome boy. <laughs> Girls will always get you in trouble, boy. Get <laughs> Yep. Who got hurt? Who got hurt? Well, it's feeling. I heard a big bang. <laughs> Storm. <laughs> Storm. 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 Finn needs a rest. He can't hack this anymore. I know. Right, that's it. Will's going outside and Storm and Finn are going inside. I don't want to leave any of my horses with Storm. All right, Storm will stay inside. Storm. <laughs> No for an answer. Okay, maybe bring Storm in for a little bit. It'd be different if it was nice weather at least. That's Not all muddy and slippery and somebody's gonna get hurt. Like, I just feel bad for Finn. I feel really bad for Finn. Like, Finn does not deserve this. Finn. He finally left a big huge herd and came here and was loved and now you are bad. You, you're bad. Wait, don't you love me, Dad? 
grab it, little Mom. Lizzie, grab it. No, let's just let them get used to each other. You get always. Leave him alone. He's like, why can't I flick my tail in this one? Finn looks upset or sick. Finn looks really tired out. All right, let's bring Finn in. Just Finn? Yeah, go check him. I feel like Storm really just wants somebody to connect with and it's really hard for him because nobody's connecting with him and he's a little bit overpowering. You're a bit overpowering. He's tall too. And you're tall. Check him over for hurts. He has a blanket on so it wouldn't be that bad. Check his legs and stuff. See the muddy blanket? He was rolling. Storm's like, I want to come in. Hi, Storm. Hey. Oh my gosh, Storm's just gonna hop that thing. So we're waiting for the farrier and failing miserably at integrating Storm. I knew this was gonna happen though. Like I knew it wasn't gonna go as super smooth as when we added Willow and Stella, or Willow and Finn, because those were like, he's, I don't know, he's something. He's a different kind of horse. So the reason I brought Finn in is because even though I know they're horses and they have to get used to it, he is a really sensitive soul and he he looked like he was getting really stressed out. He cannot go galloping for like two hours. Yeah, and like Storm, being with Storm for a long time can tire you out. I feel sorry for Storm. He's got no friends and he's used to friends. And then I feel sorry for our horses because they won't come in because Storm's here. So they're out there in the freezing cold because I wanted to bring him in. I think he should go in his stall too. Let's put, let's put the boys in and give them their lunch in and put the girls in the arena. I knew it was gonna be hard. You are trouble. He looks like he's 17 hands. Look at him. He looks like he he's looks huge. <laughs> Go sit in there with him. So cold. So 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 cold. I'm just sitting in this chair in the chat room. Not that cold. And the girls are cleaning. Sophie is setting up her. She got her. She found herself some gloves. I gave all my gloves to the little girls at the birthday party that went riding in the middle of the woods with no mittens, and so now I am have no mittens left. I'm so cold. You have one. No, you have them both, but you thank have you. One. My hands are not that cold. My hands are I not for touching gross stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and Gabby's setting up our buckets here. What do you got going on, sister? I'm setting up mine, but then over here beside the shelf. Is tack, then vet, then random something that I'm gonna put there, make something there. So she. And then old shoes and half chaps. So she's unpacking from the barn, from her barn. She's got her bucket over there. Oh, wait, I could do like winter she's stuff. She's unpacking there. our shelf of bridles has grown since yesterday, so has the mud on the floor. Gabby is hoof picking, so I'm getting them ready for the farrier and just doing this normal stuff has really seemed to calm him down. But you guys, Willow has a bite on her back. I need to go look at it. Stella has a bite on her neck. Like Storm, Storm's old field, that's all they did was bite each other. Finn and Willow are like in love now. Be nice. You know what, this is a, this is a family farm. This is a family farm, dude. This is where we act kind. This is where we're just kind to each other. Okay, that's all that there is going on at this place. There will be no more of the biting or you will have a muzzle because they sell those, you know. All right, we're gonna take Storm up to the house and have the farrier do his feet up there because the mud is really bad down here. So we're gonna go up there and do it closer to the house. These guys are having a peaceful, <laughs> I know. <laughs> They're just like, oh, thank God that horrible horse is gone. Then you look so cute in a blanket. We need to get you your own blanket though that's not too big. Are you guys okay? It's literally so cold out, like so cold. We're back to mitts, my feet are frozen. Like I'm gonna have to go have a really hot shower to warm up. 
horses are in blankets because it's that cold. They're like, oh, it's safe, it's safe. I'm checking them over for bruises. Willow's got a bite, Stella's got a bite. Finn just runs for it. You're a smart boy. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. But I'm gonna end this vlog because I think it's gonna be too long. Um, I'll be putting Storm back when we get back down with his shoes. I'm gonna probably, it's like not raining now, so I'm probably gonna stick Storm in the back with the grass and leave him adjacent to our horses because no matter what, I can't, I know they're all gonna figure it out, but I can't put my horses at risk until he kind of gets some control. So, um, slow baby steps. Anyway, that is it. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.